Is animation better than live action? This week sees the release of one of my most anticipated series of 2017, Voltron Legendary Defender on Netflix. It's a reboot of the beloved anime series from the 80s brought to us by Studio Mir, who did Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. And if you didn't get a chance to check out season one, I highly recommend going back and giving it a look because it's really great. It reminds me of the things that animation does really right. And as I started thinking about it, I wondered to myself, is animation better than live action? And I think in some areas it truly is. For one, action. If you want high octane, heightened action, people leaping off buildings or doing crazy kung fu flips or things that are generally just out of the range of actual human motion, animation is truly hard to beat because you don't have to worry about CGI or wire work or any of that stuff to make those actions work in your reality. With animation, it's all integrated in a part of it. Whatever your animators can draw is a part of that world. One of my favorite animation action directors is Joaquin Dos Santos who provided some of the best action sequences in shows like Justice League Unlimited, Avatar The Last Airbender, he also produced The Legend of Korra, and you guessed it, Voltron. And if you've seen action sequences in any of those shows, it's hard to argue that live action could work anywhere near as seamlessly. Especially with a show like Avatar where you have special powers integrated as a part of it. If you try to do a live action version of it, which they did, you'd have to use expensive CGI to get those sequences anywhere near as fluid. Speaking of heightened aspects integrated seamlessly into their production, if you have your characters going too far off hands, meeting strange creatures, going to wonderful new worlds, or maybe going on a crazy mind trip, animation could be the way to go. Again, look at Voltron for example example, going to strange worlds and epic spaceships. Like comic books, there really is no limit to the realities you can create in an animation context. It just depends on your imagination and your artist and your budget. Because you need to pay those amazing, talented people to make those beautiful images. And if you're only making those beautiful images yourself, you need to pay your bills. Finally, it's easier for animation to create a truly stylized world. I'm not just talking like anime with more expressive eyes and more exaggerated reactions. I'm talking about something like Adventure Time, where it's a whole strange reality that not only is easy easier to express through animation because otherwise you'd need a buttload of CGI budget and CGI does not truly mesh with the reality of the way a fully realized animated world would. And also the language of shows like that, the way they express themselves and convey their ideas is unique to animation. Live action TV shows and movies can struggle mightily to be that stylized, whereas animation can do it comparatively easy. And of course with all of these, the level of animation, the detail put into them is really the make or break of how immersive it can be. But if you've got a really dedicated, talented team of animators and you've got the money to throw at them, to really take their time to make those worlds breathe, you can truly create unique realities that would be almost impossible to create with live action. So depending on the story being told, animation may truly be better. And honestly, I would like to see the art of animation more embraced in Western culture. Japan has all types of animes and all types of genres, whereas American animated offerings are typically targeted at younger audiences. And if it's for adults, it has more juvenile humor like The Simpsons and South Park. Although do not get me wrong, those shows are classics for a reason. I'd like to see a show like Breaking Bad, only animated. Or could you imagine Westworld animated? It would allow completely new avenues for those worlds to be explored. And exploring those genres through animation could change the way we look at dramas or action shows. The options for storytelling in animation are so varied and interesting. I'd really like to see us as a culture dive into it more and see what storytelling opportunities it presents us. All right, so those are my thoughts on animation and live action. But before I go, if you watched my last week's video, you saw that I announced that I'm making a comic. And I shared with you guys the very first page. And this week on my Instagram, I'm revealing the main characters of the story. I've already introduced everyone to Max, who's a mechanical whiz and creates weapons like the flame saw. And now you guys will be the first to be introduced to Percy, a genius scientist with a dark secret who also happens to be very pregnant. It does not keep her out of the action though. I'm telling you, I had fun with this one. So stay tuned to videos like this one or my Twitter and Instagram at DJ Talks Trash as I start to dole out information about my comics so you can learn more and you can find out when the crowdfunding campaign is going to launch very soon. And I've been getting amazing feedback. I'm so glad that you guys seem very excited about it and I can't wait to share more with you. In the meantime, do not forget to check out my podcast with Sam Basher, Only Stupid Answers. We drop new episodes every Monday on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, and Audio Boom. So be sure to check that out. You can find out more at Only Stupid Answers on Twitter. That's it for me this week. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite animated series are and what types of series you'd like to see animated and what shows maybe would have benefited from being animated. Thank you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. See you next time.